Hi everybody, I'm James Portnow from Extra Credits. Uh, I've been thinking about this a lot lately, and we have to change the conversation around games. Um, if we ever want to realize the potential that games have as a scientific, educational, cultural medium, we can't just talk about why games aren't bad. We have to get the world to ask the question, what good can games do? Um, we can't simply be reactionary. We can't just get on TV every time somebody calls games murder simulators and simply defend games. We have to move that conversation forward. Uh, so that's why I'm trying to get together this fund to do. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to take a year of my life and roll back everything else I do except for extra credits and see if I can dedicate myself to this. Um, so here's the plan. Uh, first, we need to reach out to people in Washington. When I was there lobbying at Sopa Pipa, uh, none of the senators or Congress people I spoke to had ever talked to anybody from the games industry outside of maybe a few members of the ESA. Uh, we've got to change this. They had no one to reach out to when there was a new games bill or when they need an expert from the industry. Uh, we've got to open those lines of dialogue while at the same time fighting some of the proposed anti-games legislation that's come up. Uh, but that's just a small part. The much bigger part is to make sure there are more games that we can point to and say, this game does good. Society is clearly better for this game whenever this sort of thing comes up. Uh, we've got a couple. Uh, I can talk about Foldit and how it got players, just people like you and me, to learn the science of protein folding. Um, how it did more than that, how in two weeks... Uh, it got players to solve protein folding problems that had stumped scientists for a decade and a half. Uh, I can talk about my experience in Brazil and watching kids learn high-level math through deconstructing World of Warcraft builds. Um, I can uh, talk to you about a young woman I met who became active in politics after learning about some of the suffering happening around the globe through her time spent in MMOs. Uh, but it's not enough. We need more. We need more games that not only do good, but that really engage, that don't lose that thing that we all love about video games in the first place. Uh, so to do that, I'm working with the Global Game Jam people to create a truly international Games for Good Jam that uh, allows us all to get together, hash out some of these ideas, create some prototypes uh, to make sure that we're really able to deliver on this type of game. Beyond that, I will be uh, reaching out to grant organizations around the globe because every year I see tens of millions of dollars wasted on games that don't engage, uh, on flashcards with 3D avatars and training simulators that are less engaging than just reading the manual. Uh, I'm going to be reaching out to these grant organizations and offering to help make sure they have the people they need, the right people, both vetting these grants and submitting them. Uh, and I will also be documenting this process. Uh, I will be compiling a list of all the organizations looking to give out these sort of grants for games for good. So that anyone who um, has a good idea, who really wants to do this sort of thing, knows the process they have to go through, and the uh, organizations to reach out to, to get the funds they need to make this happen. Uh, because we've got to change this conversation. Uh, because today, I mean, games really do matter. Uh, so, even if you can't give financially, that's totally all right. Uh, if you work for someone in politics or for a grant organization, please just contact us. Um, or if you're a member of the media or part of a games company that makes these sort of games and wants to contribute, uh, just reach out. Um, if you're at a university and your department wants to study these type of games, or maybe even create some of these games, um, just contact us at gamesforgoodfund at gmail.com um, because we really can, together, change this conversation from uh, games are destructive to how can we make the world a better place through games.